Hello everybody, it's Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. We are doing a few just little chores this morning, just cleaning things up, uh, checking on the animals. Uh, the chickens are doing well here, horses doing good over here as well. We'll top up their water a little bit. Um, but yes, things are going alright. We've got the John Deere up in the main big field planting that canola we started in the last episode. We are going to get a field of uh, corn started up as well, because we need that for the distillery. Um, up here, the cows are doing well too. Just run up and see them. They are producing quite a lot of uh, manure already, which is good. We're going to pop that into the BGA as well, and some slurry. And uh, there they are, but they are eating food relatively quickly. We jump in here, again through their TMR rather quickly, and we need to top up their straw relatively too soon to uh, chickens. Um, I've just cleaned them, so that should sort itself out. They're doing all right for food as well, and the horses... About half uh, half their feed in there, so that should keep them going for a while. And the price is going up nicely now, so they uh, are going to be good to get sold in the next few days. So, um, all good with the animals right now. We need to sort some stuff out in the fields. I am going to probably run one more session in here with this grass field before I replant it with something else. Um, because I think silage-wise... We could do with a few more bales. We have got lots and lots of hay and straw, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, and we've got quite a lot in here as well, so we can produce a decent amount of TMR as and when we need it. Um, so I'll leave the white there. It's probably the slowest tractor we've got, so we'll leave that there on that trailer for doing that kind of stuff. So we're going to put a case onto a John Deere planter, probably breaking all kind of rules by doing that. But uh, we don't really have an option. We don't have any other tractors. Uh, what, uh, in fact, I totally take that back. Do you know what we're going to do? Because it was a cornfield, it will require ploughing first. Because uh, corn is quite hard on the, uh, on the ground. So, in fact, what we'll do, we'll grab the little six metre plough here. And that's the first thing we'll do. So in fact, what I may do is pop this into the field and we'll run this and just behind it, because I think they're the same width, I think that planter is 6 metres as well. We could run both tractors in the same field. So, um, or maybe we'll use the white with some seed in it and we'll, uh, we'll do it that way. But first and foremost, let's head up to uh, the top field here. We're still low on money here, okay? Still on 45 grand, I don't have much in the way of income yet until uh, we see either some of the fruits of our labor with the cattle um, get some more corn into the distillery so we can fire up our whiskey production again uh, or we sell some of the manure from the cows or potentially sell some of the silage if we want to that's that's the other thing we can do which is quite nice if uh, we're really running tight we can throw some of the silage bales into the BGA and that will give us a bit of short-term money. I don't want to do that, though, because I want to make sure we've got enough feed for the cows. But um, yeah, we've got a few options available to us. Now, the other thing I've found this week, which I'm really quite excited about, is these greenhouses. Uh, we've got strawberry, raspberry, uh, lettuce, tomato, white cabbage, and cauliflower greenhouses. They are big. Um, they've got a nice sell point as well there. Um, and you need water, fertilizer, and manure to... Uh, to feed them and one of the outputs you actually get is chaff so again you could uh, actually turn that into silage if you wanted um so uh so quite interesting um i'm looking forward to giving them a go so as soon as i've got enough money i'll uh, i'll be firing up a few of those actually gonna need a bit of space clearing for them somewhere as well i may put them up near the distillery and the the fertilizer manufacturing point because uh that's starting to turn into a little bit of a a, a production area i think so uh, we may put them up there because we're really starting to get tight for space down on the down on the farm without eating into some of our land that we've already got um so uh, let's get this plowed let's get this fired up and ready and going in the plow and, uh, and then we'll follow up with the cedar behind okay we'll see you in a minute Dreaming so much lately About your face when you're smiling 
It's the only thing that saves me mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told ya That I think you're beautiful And how oh, I can't wait to hold ya Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down And I don't know what I would do without you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down Okay, that case seems to be running really nicely. So, we will go and get the planter. Now, I'm not sure if it will run on the same course. We'll know if this is a 6.2 metre width. If it's slightly less, we'll have to readjust the course and maybe wait a bit longer until he's covered more of the field. But, uh, for now, we will just pick it up, get everything sorted. It's in an awkward position. I'm going to put this here, but it's uh, not the best to get uh, joined onto. There we go. A little bit of a rattle against the wall, but that's fine. There we go. Okay, let's turn our HUD back on and see we have no corn uh, seed or fertilizer in here. So we need to do something about that. Um, I know we've got fertilizer, but I don't think we've got corn anywhere. I don't want to be without you. This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Okay, I've decided something. Now we've got to the point that we are in the series. I'm going to do store deliveries. Um, obviously we pay for it, so from a survival perspective, it's not a cheat. It's, you know, authentic to real life. You know what? Farms get deliveries. Deal with it. Um, so, what we'll do here... Um, obviously we've topped up this with our fertiliser from the Grainos, so we've got a full tank of fertiliser in there. What we'll do is order a couple of bags of seed. There we go. Um, we've got bulk buy on as well, so I'm going to order... I might just go for three. Because we do use them though, 270, there you go. Um, and if I go back, it will give us our delivery cost to 2.5%. Uh, so, there you go, we didn't do that for free. It's all above board and legitimate. So, let's jump back in. Let's get this guy topped up. Probably want to have a look at repairing it actually, it looks quite muddy. So I just want to check that it's on good form before we start planting with it so we'll jump out here we will just make sure he's ready to go he looks okay look at that he's properly um, I think we may be repaired after we last uh, finished with it right seed in here there we go now, obviously, the capacity of this isn't very big, and corn uses a lot more seed than others, so we may hook up a trailer and uh, run it up to the field for refills in the future. That might be sensible. Um, oh, I'm almost relieved I've got store deliveries now, honestly. The, we have gone up and back to that shop more times than I care to remember so this is uh, as, do you know what that's a quality of life upgrade to the farm that I've been meaning to do for a long time so I'm very pleased I've got that done right let's get this up to the field and uh, we'll see how the case is doing how much ground he's covered and uh, we'll maybe kick this off as well okay, here we are it's making good progress actually um, we set up with three headlands. I did check the width of this as well, and it's 6 metres, whereas the plough is 6.2. So, uh, in hindsight, I should really have set the plough to 6 as well. That would have saved us a little bit of hassle, or it would have covered uh, a little bit more ground than that. But, um, 
it would have helped us with uh, being able to run them both in the field at the same time. So I am going to leave this guy for a little while until uh, the case is finished, um, which is a bit frustrating because uh, it would have been good to uh, get both of those done at the same time. Uh, but over there in big field 10, the John Deere's been busy. Um, he's planting canola. That's going to be a, hopefully a big cash crop for us. We'll do the um, the swath and straw from that as well because canola straw is very lucrative. There he is, planting away. I set him up on a skip row course on course plate. And we're planting directly into the ground here. One application of fertilizer too, so we will need to come back and do a second one. Um, but uh, he's making good progress and uh, looks like he's got decent quantities of seed left in there as well. So hopefully, may even get most of the way around this field without uh, needing a refill. Fertilizer's going in um, quicker than the uh, seed, so we'll just need to keep an eye on that. But like I said, we've got the Grainos uh, trailer, so we could run that up here relatively quickly and get him filled up. But uh, no, it's all go at the moment. It is all go. to paradise There we go, case on the headlands now, so she should be finished relatively soon, which means we can get the white into here, um, which is great stuff. And uh, yeah, we're all go. John Deere doing well in the other field as well. Um, we're making some really good progress so far. So um, I think we need to go and sell a little bit of whiskey. We've got just under two pallets left up there. And while these guys are running so smoothly, um, we might as well fill that time doing something useful. So. Let's head up there and grab the truck. Here we are. We left the truck here last time. Uh, if you remember, it's not the most fun experience unloading this truck with the whiskey pallets. Um, but the money's good, so we might as well keep doing it. So we'll run back to the distillery now and we'll pick this up. So I'm in a bit of a quandary. We talked about those greenhouses before. Um, we have got this area up here, which I obviously always committed to not farming because it was just uh, the way the map was set up to buy the wooded piece in the bottom corner. Let me just explain this. Um, so to buy this piece in the bottom corner here, um, I had to link it up when I was setting up the game originally with this large field 19. Now I always committed to not touching that and farming that because that would have been uh, too easy and we just stuck to the wooded piece down in the bottom corner. Now we have put the distillery on here and we have put the fertilizer manufacturing point on here as well. I'm torn as to what to do here. Obviously, those greenhouses we talked about before, I would like to put up here um, and maybe create a little bit of an industrial area. But is that fair? Is that right for a um, for a survival series? Uh, I don't know. So I would love to hear your views um, and your opinions on whether or not we should be doing this with the series. Happy to uh, respect uh, your wishes. Go with the majority, uh, unless it's really, really close. So um, let's see. Uh, let's see where you guys think. I mean, we're not going to do anything at the moment. 
because we haven't got enough money to buy those greenhouses but uh, in the future uh, we may do and it may be a good place to put them the other alternative is this actually we go and buy another small field and turn that into a manufacturing area and leave that piece as it is um, I'd be happy to do that as well I'm just looking looking to gauge what I don't want to do 55 episodes in is for you guys to turn around and say ah well yeah he's not doing a survival series anymore because he's just putting stuff on free land um, so uh, let me know what you think um, definitely happy to take you guys lead on it and uh, keep things as uh, uh, accurate as we can do for a survival series so um, let's get this sold now I'm not sure how much we'll get here I don't know what the price is doing at the moment not thought about anything like that actually so uh, we'll just have a quick look now when we come in before we sell it okay it's dropping 1700 uh, nearly 1800 um, for me that's uh, that's good enough to sell it no point in me uh, holding on to that uh, it's not the 2000s which we really like it but at the same time it's not down in the 1000s so it will do me as it is and there we go it's unloaded properly first time which is always nice 14,259 good stuff so there we go case done happy days right uh, let's very quickly get the white in here and then we'll run this plow back to the farm I'm kind of hoping because this is a small field I won't go through all of this seed but I'm uh, I'm also not optimistic that we won't need to do a little top up at some point I'm sure the fertilizer will last but not the seed so let us quickly set up this course we'll do everything as last time three headland passes we'll start working on the up and down rows we'll do turn corners six meter width we'll not skip rows it's not a big enough field to do that I don't think and we will hit the generate button that looks pretty good to me and it looks like it's going to follow the course that uh, was set up by the plough as well so um, yes if I'd set that plough to six meters we wouldn't have had to reset that course and they could have run together but this is all good I'm pleased with this it's looking good uh, we'll just quickly check back on the John Deere as well for how much is in his tanks and uh, we'll take things from there so there he is, um, working the field quite nicely, 21% left in the fertiliser tank, so absolutely he's going to need a top up, but that's why we've got the little Grainos tank and our own fertiliser. Let's run this back to the farm. So let's have a quick chat while we're running back to the farm about what we're going to do next. Um, obviously talked about those greenhouses, not going to make a call on those until... Um, We've taken a vote on it with the community, so no rush to do those. I would love to buy some more fields, though. Um, I think that's uh, next. I really don't think we can do much more in the w in the wooded area, in the forestry area, because um, I think we're really at mostly at the borders of where we can go with that. Now, there is a little bit more space through the middle, but um, is it going to be the best land? Is it going to be the best use of that land? I don't think so. I think probably... Uh, more cost effective to uh, buy another field um, obviously there's the wood though you know the wood could come in handy if we uh, if we share if we split that last little area in fact let's just jump in and have a look at the map and see what we think so there you go there's our four fields we have got this little channel down here which we haven't eaten into yet which could give us a lot more space um, but it's not a huge area really when I'm looking at you know potentially I could look at buying a field like so there's our little area here the two fields um, that we've joined together um, we've got this little area down here this is the thoroughfare we've cut through to go to our farm shop so there's not much space there. There's where our cow barn is now as well. So really I've only got this sort of triangle in the top corner here left that I can really encroach on massively. And I don't want... Is it really worth it? That, I mean, there's a lot of trees in there. Could make us some decent money. Uh, but equally, you know, I'm looking at uh, fields like field 9 here. 
It's only 154,000. That feels achievable at the moment. Um, 16 is probably a bit small, um, although there's quite a lot of space over there, actually. There's another field that isn't numbered over there. Uh, field 15, 205,000. I mean, that that's a substantial field as well. That's that's up there with kind of field 10 size. Field 11, that's quite expensive, actually. Field 12 is only 192. So field 5, okay, that's a collection of fields. Can't really afford that. Um, even something massive like field 7. It's only 500,000. We've got up to that kind of numbers before. 338. So, um, yeah, options. I don't think that's the best solution for us going forward, if I'm being honest. Maybe maybe we could do that, and it would fund a, some of the cash towards a new field. But I'm thinking field 15 might just be my next purchase. Okay, plow unhitched. Um, fertilize that. John Deere will run out of fertilizer soon. Now, the other thing I was noticing when I was in here... There's only one layer of fertilizer on these grass fields now, so it might be lucrative as well because we have got more than we know what to do with is to um, top up uh, the fertilizer in the fields because in the BGA we have got more digestate than we know what to do with. Um, I would quite like a bigger digestate tank now as well. That's something to consider in the future as well. But for now, it will do the job with a few refills. Um... But first and foremost, let's let's go on a little bit of a road trip. We need to go and fill up the tank of the John Deere with fertilizer. But actually, I think we've got fertilizer left in the uh, in the manufacturer, so we can uh, go and unload that as well and top this up. So we will head over there. Okay, let's just head past the shop here up towards the distillery, which is where the fertilizer manufacturing point is. Um, Again, I think with these uh, new bigger fields as well, I've talked about it already, but um, considering upgrading our combine is definitely something that needs to be thought through. Um, definitely a wider header uh, and some decent um, volume in them would be good, um, so we don't have to so we don't have to unload as op as often, but. Um, so there's cost involved in that, because let's be honest, combines are not cheap. But uh, it'll be a worthwhile exercise doing that. And uh, obviously the cost of the, the fields as well. Uh, the biggest thing that will get us more money, you know, is uh, is the whiskey. That's a, that's a really big ticket item. But I am interested to see what we're going to do with our milk and with the cows. Uh, that manure as well could be quite lucrative. Um, one of the things I will do as soon as we've uh, got enough to make it worthwhile is to throw some of that into the um, into the BGA. We don't need it straight away. Again, if we buy these greenhouses, yes, uh, we can do that. But uh, at the moment, uh, better off selling it and boosting up our uh, income in the bank. So there we go, filled out. There wasn't that much more in it, actually. So obviously um, we used Easy Fertilizer the last time using Digestate from the BGA uh, and Diesel, very easy to do. Um, I think we should probably run some more Digestate up here. Again, another reason why we should look at a bigger um, Digestate tank. Um, so we will, um, yeah, that's something else that one could make. We can't sell fertilizer at the moment, there's no point in doing that. Uh, it's just helpful not to buy it for uh, the farm just an additional cost that we can uh, we can manage ourselves but there's no reason why in the future we couldn't look at uh, selling fertilizer as well to make a little bit more income um, so again something we should probably think of is getting some more digestate up here which would need um, a tanker of some sort and look at that actually look what needs to be refilled first the white with the corn in it so um, I should have predicted that, shouldn't I? Um, that's okay, though. We will run this back down to the John Deere field. Make sure that's ready for when he needs to top up. But also, I'm going to go and get our little um, truck that we use for the honey and the fruit. And I will hook that up to a trailer. And we will get some uh, seed. I'm going to guess it's corn seed that he's uh, needing more of. Uh, and we'll get that over to the white in the other field as well. Yes, so there's the white. He's made it a little less than halfway across the field. He needs some more seed. 
and over here somewhere will be the John Deere who must be almost almost out of fertilizer as well I'm actually surprised that uh, he hasn't already but uh, so we can head over with this and we will just park ourselves up and wait roughly where he's uh, where he's gonna be here he comes on his downward uh, pass as well we'll leave that there we'll go and get the truck from the farm there's a little Chevy we should be able to get a a seed pallet on the back of here with not too many issues we may need the little Massey to lift it on because we don't have auto load on this so and don't think even if one of them is only half full I can lift it by hand either so um, no it's not even giving me the option so let's get the Massey There we go. Okay, I don't think um, he'll need any more, but um, I might just, for safety's sake, just pop this here. I mean, it's no use anywhere else at the moment, so uh, we can just leave it here. Uh, and we can head back over here. And keep an eye on the uh, white as we go past. But then I think it's a case of... Um, throwing the mower on this tractor and getting him back into some grass cutting um, we've made a lot, of, a lot of progress actually today now we did talk about digestate as well and we talked about getting some more fertilizer produced um, but actually I'd like to bump up the coffers uh, pretty quickly to be honest get some money in the bank and take it from there okay mower hooked on let us get this grass cut. So there you go, mower back up and running. Um, and a lot more silage to come from here. Um, but we've done a lot of grass work recently. So I think what we'll do is uh, keep some of the more interesting stuff for the live stream in the week. Uh, we'll start spreading some digestate and we'll start uh, creating some fertilizer. We'll have a discussion about what we do with those uh, greenhouses. And uh, we'll take things from there. But for now, uh, I think we'll call it for this episode. Thank you very, very much for watching, as always. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now. <laughs>